before we get into today's video, I'm just going to uh, stay a little channel update. Uh, my main job shut down uh, for at least 14 days because of the coronavirus little thing. There were a couple suspected cases at my work, so they uh, called it quits for 14 days until uh, they can figure out what's going on. Um, so uh, I'm going to try and produce a video every day. Also, um, this time off is unpaid, so I'm going to be looking for ways to supplement my income. So if you like my uh, content, I would like to ask for your support. Um, if you can't, that's totally fine. I'm not necessarily begging for money or anything. I'll be fine either way, but I would like to try and uh, so, uh, so I'm going to be supplementing my income in a couple different ways. But um, you can do so through Patreon or PayPal. Um, so if you can, I would love it. If you can't, well, that's fine. Continue to enjoy my content. Like, share, subscribe. That helps just as much. Thank you. Hey, everyone. What's happening today? I'm responding to a comment I received on my Linux 4 beta. Little overview I did. And uh, it reads, can you please tell me what the difference between this version and the standard Linux Mint cinnamon? And uh, we're going to go ahead and answer that question. They were talking about when they said this version, which is Linux Mint Debian Edition. And uh, so we're going to go over the de differences today. I'm not necessarily going to jump over to desktops and et cetera. But we're going to go ahead and explain it. So um, Linux Mint Debian Edition and Linux Mint Cin Cinnamon are both based in Debian. Uh, but the thing, but the different, the main difference is, is that Linux Mint Cinnamon, the standard version, is based in Ubuntu, where Linux Mint Debian Edition is based on Debian Stable. And at this moment in time, Linux Mint Debian Edition is based off of De Debian Buster, which is Debian 10, at, at the recording of this video. So to most users, most people probably won't see a difference between the two. Uh, they both use APT as its package manager because they're both in the Debian family. Uh, they're going to have similar package sets when you install, etc. But there are a couple differences that some people need to be aware of. Um, so Linux Mint Debian Edition is based off of Debian Stable, of course. And for that, they're going to be based off of older packages. Um, Debian Stable runs older packages because they want to maintain that stable environment. And rolling forward packages can create some instabilities, so they often tend to run older packages. Now, uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon is based off of the current Ubuntu long-term support edition and as such their packages are going to be newer than the Debian edition because they are rolling forward at least every two years so if you're using the new version of Linux Mint Cinnamon you're going to be running packages that are no more than two years old with Debian Stable and Linux Mint Debian Edition, you could have packages that was that are three to five years old. And but this can have its advantages and disadvantages as far as stability versus feature updates. Now with Linux Mint Cinnamon, you're gonna have those feature updates more often. Except with Linux Mint Debian, you're gonna have this the uh, stability of the Debian stable. So that is the major difference between Linux Mint Standard Cinnamon and Linux Mint Debian Edition. Now a couple operational little things that uh, you're going to notice is one is it's going to be easier in Linux Mint uh, Standard to get newer packages through APT. Um, because you can add things called PPA archives, which which allows you to roll forward your certain uh, packages to newer versions. Let's just say you need the newest version of 
LibreOffice. You can add a PUPA, which is a personal package archive, which is maintained by the LibreOffice team to roll forward your LibreOffice to the newest version and leave everything else as it is. Which makes things really, really easy because all you have to do is add another uh, repository and roll it forward. Linux Mint Debian Edition, that is not an option. You do not want to add PPAs to Linux Mint Debian Edition. That would be create what they call a Franken Debian, and that is not a good result. You're going to end up breaking your system eventually. Now, you do have op options to update your packages. One is to flat packs or snaps. Or you can also download app images as well to get the newer packages you need. Now these have advantages and disadvantages. I'm not going to dive into those, but those are options that you have in Linux Mint Debian Edition. You also have those options in Linux Mint Cinnamon as well. So you got to keep that in mind. That it might be a little bit harder to add newer packages to Linux Mint Debian Edition. But that is by design to maintain that stable system that a lot of people do require. So which one should you choose to run on your computer? Well, that depends on your use case and your personal preferences. If you would like a stable system that you are sure is not going to break, it's not going to change, your workflow is not going to change, you want to choose Linux Mint Debian Edition because they rarely update their packages until it is required. Until they, like, basically sometimes until that package version reaches end of life. So, your workflow on that particular version of, of Linux Mint, Linux Mint Debian Edition, would be for you if you don't want anything to change or rarely change. If you want newer packages, Linux Mint Cinnamon is for you. You're not going to get packages that are more than two years old with Linux Mint Cinnamon. And with the new version of Ubuntu LTS, the next version should be st based off of 20.04. So you're going to get brand new packages with Linux Mint Cinnamon, the next version when you upgrade. So it's really if you want the new features. Linux Mint Cinnamon is for you. If you want a stable work environment that doesn't change and most likely won't break itself, Linux Mint Debian Edition would be for you. Side note, uh, before I end this video that I didn't mention is that Linux Mint Debian Edition will receive security patches. The Debian security team is very good about providing security patches for its specific version. Uh, they will either roll it out from the developer for, for that package, or they'll patch it themselves. Uh, I have never actually had a problem with receiving security patches with Debian Stable. And Linux Mint Debian Edition receives its updates for, directly from the Debian team. So you're not going to have to worry about not receiving security updates because those are provided by the Debian team. The only thing you're not going to get is new features with the new versions. But like I said, if you want that, you can either get uh, flat pack snaps or use Linux Mint Cinnamon Standard. And with that, if you like this video, go ahead and give it that thumbs up. If you don't, that's what that thumbs down button is for. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you for watching. If you like my content and wish to support my work, you can do so on Patreon. The link is in the description. Also, if you wish to see more, check out the videos on your screen.